It's Homebrew Wednesday. Well, it isn't Homebrew Wednesday yet. Another can of multi tool opener. Get it. Now it's a Hungry Wednesday. It still is Wednesday, even though it's half nine. <sighs> well, what do we got happening? Not much, I'm afraid, <clears throat> but I have been shopping. Didn't go to the auction this week, so no goodies. Did get a free fermenter off a nice lady in the village near me. I put a, um, a wanted ad on the free cycle type websites and someone offered me a fermenting bin. So it would have been rude of me not to say, okay, I'll take it off your hands. Because um, I'm going to get hopefully pretty busy on the brew side. Famous last words. Finalised. The Wilco's Dark Velvet State, as Laramo 22 knows. I'm going to give it the coffee treatment. I'm going to split the batch, maybe. We're going to make it a chocolate, maybe a double chocolate stout. And a coffee stout. Maybe brew her up. Got the cocoa. Going to brew that. Put it to secondary. When I'm ready to bottle. I'm going to split the batch down. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but uh, I'm going to split the batch. Probably do 20 bottles as a chocolate stout and 20 bottles as a coffee chocolate stout. So it'll be a coffee mocha. That's that one. Done and dusted. I got the Hoppy Copper Bitter to do too. Just going to do that with the dry malt hopped extract and maybe some hops in secondary on that one um, for anyone in the UK Wilco's are online I've been in the store today and they weren't doing the offer in store at my de department store the Wilco's own kits what I just showed you they're doing them with the free sugar again kit and kilo for £10 um, they've also got their brewmaker range <coughs> all their range of brewmaker beers um, reduced from £22 down to 15 so I grabbed one of them while I was there because I got the India Pale Ale kit and I haven't had IPAs for a long while um, can't remember the last time I had an IPA I can remember when I used to drink it which was back in the days when um, I shouldn't have been getting served in pubs and my main staple was Green King IPA or Abbott Ale um, so I grabbed that. So that's another brewski. And while I was in town, something I had looked into before. Ah, throat's getting dry. Malt extracts. Yeah, we know. What's in here is a malt extract. Maybe done in a certain way to produce a certain type of beer, light, dark, extra dark, amber, but there are other types of malt extract, they're the same stuff as we use in the brewing industries, but they use it for cooking, they use malt extract to make malt loaves, malt biscuits, malt anything, they use this stuff, and now you know what I'm thinking, especially when it's buy one get the second one half price. So it's mini malt batch. Got four of these. Uh, what you colour you'd call that? It's coming out very dark on the camera, but uh, it's more of a, a brownie colour. But I did get these ones as well. So, a little bit of yeast, a little bit of sugar, a few hops. Who knows what we'll brew? 
This is quite a dark one by the looks of it. I haven't opened them yet obviously because they're sealed and vacuumed. 650 grams in a pot. Buy one get the second half price. I think they were seven pounds something. And these were two pounds something. So and these are four hundred and four hundred and fifty-four grams. So I bought four of those little ones. So that gives me just under. Yeah, hi Charlie. Just under the two kilos out of those. 1.2 kilos out of those. So I'm figuring maybe 10, 10 litre kits out of these with a little bit of DME and a little bit of sugar and we'll see what they brew up. Who knows? Who cares? I'll do them on video. Probably do it all as one hit and do the, do the brew and do the ferment bottle so it'll be start to finish rather than sort of come back to them two, three weeks later after they're bottled and drinkable. I'll sort of edit the video and do it all as one and uh, see what they come out like. So hopefully the wife's away this weekend, she's Sheffield shopping. So it's <coughs> me weekend free. <sighs> so no interruptions for two well, two-ish days. Obviously, she's come back on a Sunday, unfortunately. But never mind. Um, that's it. I've got myself another thermometer. One of these. Free. I emailed the lady that I bought them from on eBay. And there was a very, very slight little bend in it. Um, even though she had written on the envelope, Do not bend. Mr. Dyslexic Postman bent it. Only small, slight little bend. But I did email her, just I wasn't particularly that bothered really. I just thought I'd email her just to tell her that the post office were a bunch of tossers. Um, she offered to send me another one. So now I've got two. <laughs> um, I think that's about it this weekend, guys. Or well, this week, today. Haven't done much with the corny keg yet. Um, don't know what I'll be doing with it yet, really. Um, I've been looking on the internet and pricing up, you know, other bits for it. Um, obviously, I've got a CO2 it. Um, I have got MIG CO2, which is pub gas. But obviously, uh, if I use my pub gas for beer, I can't use it for welding. Not that I do a lot of welding, but obviously, you know what will happen. When I need it, I won't have it. And uh, so... I'll, Fathom that out, I'll figure something out. You can buy those little CO2 pilot things to go on as a charger. I'm now about to order the ones that do the capsules for the other brew kegs that I've got. I'm now <coughs> doing an order for some more hops, more grains, more yeasts, um, some more DME. Uh, just been looking at a few recipes in one of my old books. A um, couple of, well, there's one beer that's still made, there's one beer that's no longer made which is another one I used to drink when I was a kid called Double Diamond if any of the English boys can remember that one and Toby, Toby Bitter so uh, we might knock those up when we get more uh, grain compliant um, I'm going to order myself one of these little Corona type mills um, and get some crushed grains, I've got some buckets I can seal everything in to keep them as fresh as possible uh, still got the build to do of the fermentation chamber at the old chest freezer. Um, Mark 1 version is going to be just household items uh, so I can basically do a video construction of it and people in the UK can relate to you know parts that you can grab and knock one up yourself. Um, but I possibly will put an ST1000 or whatever they are on it in the summer. Um, if it still chills, I think it's the thermostat, the stuff, I think I said so in my last one. But I have also got, um, if you go into the garages over here, or gas stations as you call them in the US, you get the drinks cabinets, the glass fronted chiller cabinets, um, with the wire shelving and then you fill them up with the Coke cans and drinks and things. I also have one of them. Mm. Mr. Collect a lot. Yeah, I got uh, a horse box run out of sheds <laughs> so I've got a horse box full of shit too and uh, that's in there 
Um, that was a freebie as well from a mate of mine who had a garage um, workshop. They used to keep the milk in it for tea breaks and things. And um, when he closed and downsized, that was surplus to requirements. So um, I came home with that. I wouldn't, you know, look a gift horse in the mouth, as they say. So um, yeah, that's collecting dust and taking up space in a horse box that I need to get rid of. Um, still haven't got the garage cleared, so I can't get very far with um, moving stuff around and getting chiller cabinets back in the garage. And uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll cover it when I can go to all grain, but I've got me gravity method sorted. Um, bit of a different twist in it, as you might expect from a hillbilly, but you'll have to wait and see. God knows how long that will be before that be. comes into fruition uh, at the rate of pace that things are going on. Over here, I'm stuck in a, a loop <coughs> at the minute of being able to do things and clear one job up. One job's got to be done to get the next one done and the next one done, and it's a chain reaction. And till I can get a couple of jobs done, I can't progress with anything else, which is proven very frustrating because uh, I want to expand my garage and I've got an old car that I've had since I was about 19. An old Volkswagen Beetle, it's a 68, 1500 Deluxe. Um, I couldn't get hold of a 67 the same year as me. So I've got a 68 and they're sort of part restored and obviously life changes. You get married, mortgages and bills and kids. and So it's sat in a garage there and it's in the way basically, but I'm loath to get rid of it. You know, One day I might be able to go back to it and restore it as a retirement project or I want to win the lottery ha 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 but anyway I want to build at the back of my garage and get that out of the way so my garage and workshop space is all back as it should be but obviously now the brewing interest is um, rekindled and as Tiny calls it the brewing footprint <laughs> mine's big um, it's taken up half this room um, and obviously the space in the shed that you've already seen in my previous videos. Um, so yeah, I would like to say there'll be, you know, a brew house build, but I can't see it coming to fruition yet. But I know a man who has the same construction panels as my garage is built out of, which means with a few other little phone calls to friends who are still in the trade, I can get some more parts. And it's a very quick, easy assemble to actually expand the garage. The only problem is obviously the concrete base is uh, 80 foot away from the front of the house where the cement truck would be. And I'm not as healthy and as fit and my back isn't as good as it used to be for barrowing load after load. Bearing in mind that when in the UK if you have a cement truck you get 30 minutes um, time to empty the contents of the truck and he goes after that you start getting billed extra time and I don't have a big chain of friends and wheelbarrows to so yeah I've got to figure out something <coughs> more cost effective and manageable to make a base up to get the car out get the garage back and maybe another extension on the back of the area that the car will be stored in for a brew house I have windows I have doors uh, I have timber I have some roofing materials, but it's a bit of a pipe dream at the minute. Um, there are lots of other projects that are further up the ladder than uh, the next harebrained scheme of mine. Um, there's plenty still bouncing around in here that are yet to make it to the list before <laughs> they even get ahead. But it would be nice um, to have somewhere um, to be able to put all the gear, maintain the temperature and um, have it out there a bit like Mr Humbear Brewery you know he's got that piece on the side of his house which is just there for the beer side of things and uh, everything's kept away and separate I could you know providing I've got enough room to put a table in and uh, another PC out there and shoot the videos out there and then um, just come back in the house to do the other stuff in here but uh, yeah big pipe dreams big pipe dreams but they're there you know smoldering 
embers make a flame. So you never know. I've waffled on long enough. This is another dream, you know. Haha, <laughs> I could win. Win the lottery too. Mm. And buy a brewery. No, it's take all the fun out of having people do it for you, doesn't it? Anyway guys, I'm waffling. You can watch other channels to listen to pointless babble. <clears throat> okay guys, I'm out here. I've got to order these grains before my page times out, which it probably has. I'm going to do this now. Luckily I wrote everything down that I've ordered. Yeah, oh no, they're still there. We're away. Right, I'm going to go and spend some more money I haven't got. Catch you later, guys. I'll press the off button. That'd help, wouldn't it? Mm, bloody.